this is my project presentation for class EMA 4003. So my project was based around bioplastics. Bioplastics are materials that act and have similar properties to contemporary plastics but are made of biomaterials. These materials could be from anything from corn, biomass, sugarcane, algae, food waste, etc. Um, it usually has a polymer structure, so it will be made of subunits that add on and make these very long chains. So the whole point and goal of bioplastics is to create affordable, degradable bioplastics or plastic alternatives to sustain a great future. The following experiment that is going to take place is based off a scientific article that used orange peels to make bioplastic. This experiment can be broken down in four different steps, which is mechanical disruption, heating, mixing, and weighting. The materials for this experiment will be orange peels, glycerol, hydrochloric acid, and distilled water. Because I do not have hydrochloric acid, I will be using white distilled vinegar as a substitute. So first, of course, you want to peel your oranges. Make sure you take off the sticker. Uh, this is just me peeling my orange. And of course, because oranges are delicious, I ate both oranges. So here, I am tarring my weight so that I measured about 70 grams. The instructions said mortar and pestle, but first I did blend it a bit. So here's the blended pieces. I used a navel orange, so it was a little too difficult to do by hand. But here I am still using the pestle and mortar to break down that orange peel. So the semi-uniform orange peels got put into the oven at about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once they were dried, I measured them again about 46 grams. I removed to get 25 grams because that is what was mentioned in the in the article. And then here, this is after I put water, distilled vinegar, and glycerol into the mixture. Um, I did rinse and wash and reapply, but um, it kind of made this paste that I just flattened down. And then once I flattened it, I put it in my closet so it could stay for 48 hours. And then this is me getting it 48 hours later. As you can see here, it didn't really work out as intended. I think this is mainly because I didn't have the HCL, but I can definitely see how the HCL might help form these bonds. So, the scientists that put together the scientific article did the following analyses on the new material that they formed. Using infrared spectroscopy, the scientists were able to give detail on the atomic makeup of the bioplastic polymer, which includes functional groups such as phenols, alcohols, amines, ketones, amides, esters, and ester groups in the orange peel based material. This was the results of the x-ray diffraction of the biomaterial. As you can see, there's this spike that implies that the material is amorphous in structure. Using the electron microscope, scientists were able to look a bit more into the surface of the material. So on the left is actually a picture of the orange peel, and on the right is a picture of the material 48 hours after mixing so as you can see the one on the right is a little bit more uniform a little more smooth while the one on the left is very bumpy and not as uniform so the smoothness can be due to the interaction of the plasticizer with the polysaccharides that were already in the original material that makes it more stable and intact because of bioplastics' um, intended function to be biodegradable and as well as equally strong as plastics, a tensile strength and a deteriorability test are needed. So this scientific article is able to conclude that the, the tensile strength was 7.38 megapascals, as the deteriorability is about three months. Scientists concluded because of the availability of orange peels and 
the fact that it is a component of food waste, it is a great, uh, it yields great promise for the future of bioplastics. The content of cellulose and pectin also allows it to create stronger polymers than other materials might. It is also really exciting because compared to other bioplastics, this process is only really two steps compared to potentially other plastic alternatives. And even though my experiment didn't work, it was really fun to try out and I'll probably retry it with <laughs> muriatic acid, which I didn't realize was an option until after the experiment. But it was an awesome opportunity to try it at home.